room. My name is Jonelle. I'm here with Eugene yep. and Des Wayne. Hi. Both of you guys are low key coordinated today yep. with like the shades of pink. Salmon. Yeah, his is definitely salmon. No, salmon's a much lighter. Yours is no a mauve. Yeah. yeah, salmon is a little lighter. I don't lighter. know colors. So. <laughs> pink. And then Des with the hot pink. Yeah. Hot. You see, are you in a good mood today? I'm always in a good mood. That's true. But like you just seem like you came in, you're very like bright and Chris like wearing pink. No, no. <laughs> his his energy, not his oh. clothing. Oh, it could have been the KFC. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just stuffed my face with chicken before I got here. Well, either way, you have chicken really makes us all happy, you have really right? good energy. Like you Thank look you. good Thanks. from the inside out. Thanks. Glowing. Yeah. I mean you too, Hugh, but yeah. like you have <laughs> No. <laughs> I just mean you. It doesn't. It lost. The flavor's gone. <laughs> you licked off all the flavor. It's gone. I told you I've done you that before, right? You just sucked off all the hot sauce off the chicken wings, and you just handed some plain. No, I wet I wings. did that um with Doritos, like the cheesy. What's Doritos. What's wrong with you? I was like, I don't know. It doesn't matter like how old you were. Eight or nine. That's worse. If you're like three, I'd give you some leeway. Sat there and licked the cheese off of all the Doritos, Damn. but then what'd it's you like, do with it after? The, the actual chips. Yes. You just I put them back in the bag. <laughs> But I left it on the table. I didn't throw them out. Des is giving me such a dirty look. No, I left them on the table this is why with the plan mind. to I'm throw them say. out. But then I guess they, they sat there for a few minutes. They were minutes. no longer yeah. dry. Yeah. Mm. And I like left the kitchen, came back, and my mom was eating the Doritos. Oh, my God. And I was like, I was like Mom. She's like, what? I'm like, I licked every single one of those. Yeah. Like, every single one. And she was like oh i was wondering why none of them seem to have any cheese on them i'm like oh god i used to just like take them and rub it on my fingers because i like the cheese on my fingertips like true with but like, you, you gotta save that for the end no i, I don't I'm not like every time i grab one chips. i would just grab it and like rub it a bit Ew. and then eat it and then grab the next one rub it so most of it is on my finger look at Hugh's face he was or like or like, like cheeto dust yeah like it's nice once you're done eating the chips and, and they you are, have that to yeah mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I suck the, the cheese off burritos and leave it to dry. I just... Well, it's not a regular habit. Just but eat the chip and lick your finger. Or get a taper towel and wipe it off. A taper towel? Yeah. A taper towel. <laughs> First a of tape all, or a towel. <laughs> Pick one. Nobody licks their fingers after every single chip. That's crazy. That's too, yeah, that's ridiculous. You guys are both ridiculous. You, have so you just heard the, the shit end. you're saying? You're the guy who bites Kit Kats, okay? Okay, so, it's effective and quick. No, it's not effective. <laughs> it's effective and quick. <laughs> Done. Murderous. <laughs> it is murderous. <laughs> it's literally what it is. Oof. You know what? When you were saying that... Um, <laughs> She licked all the, what did you say? Sauce off the wings? Is that what you said? Mm. In my head, I was like, oh, he should have said she drank all the alcohol from the can and just gave us the water. No. <laughs> you didn't like that one? I don't, don't get, get it. it. Is that because Lick- of- Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah. it's not good. That's what you did. Eugene, don't do that. You're going to start a fire. <laughs> so you hear the dryness when he's trying to snack. <laughs> The li- rattlesnake. <laughs> labor hands, man. Not quite a rattlesnake, but I, I see no. what you were trying to okay, do. It just you. it didn't yeah, land. It didn't. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, for two. An earwig is just a. When I realized the other day, so he strikes and you're out. An earwig is just a crappy scorpion. Oh really? I just considered it a murderous ant. I don't know. I Are they kind of like roaches but smaller? No, there's just a crappy scorpion because it just has like the pinchers at the tail, yeah, yeah. but like. When someone attacks it, it can't do much. It can't do nothing. Because yeah, cause when I was a kid in my like crawl space, you always see like the pincers just mm. like hang because the spiders killed them. Yeah. And it's like, you're just a crappy scorpion. It's useless. Because scorpions can go... <laughs> and then stab, but like... Are those ones that actually crawl into your ears? No, though? those are the African ones. The African earwigs? Apparently some... I remember seeing like years ago on Discovery Channel. It's not... The regular ones don't go in your ear. I think it's like the African ones. Uh, you know how they used to that. say like... Ah, uh, that's what I... This, was, this is like 20-year-old information too, so. They used to say like, oh, on average you will swallow like 27 spiders in your sleep or something crazy I like that. that. But like... First of all, why would a spider just crawl into your mouth? It's, it's just walking around. Why is your mouth open? Because I'm me. People, people, people when they sleep... mouth breather. Yeah. I have <laughs> weird ass, like weird chin because yeah. you're like... Uh-huh. <laughs> no, people have a speci- when you're a mouth breather, you have a specific face structure. Okay, first. It's the true. It's like, <laughs> like I know when I'm falling asleep because I feel my. <laughs> Anyone you see like, like that, you know they're a mouth. Same thing with like uh, what's his, what's his, what's it called? Alcohol like 
alcohol fetal syndrome whatever fetal alcohol if, syndrome. if you know what the face looks like you know it's a really distinct look some people have a mild case of it though yeah it sucks if you know what it because i know what to look for and i see it all over the place in oshawa so well oh gosh all right <laughs> i mean uh, this. <laughs> get your friend please because I'm, i just want to walk and be like you know you're your mom drank a little bit okay. of beer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <of> all, but <laughs> a glass of red wine every now and then is not while you're pregnant. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When you're it pregnant. Is. Yes. Yeah, it's not happening. Yeah. What do you mean that's not they happening? Actually, it's not like, happening. What do you mean that's not that's happening? Not happening. Are you planning on carrying a baby? Whenever I get soon? pregnant, she takes a while. I'm slapping. I don't want my kid looking all weird now. No, the doctors actually say it's okay. I don't care what the doctors say. A lot of crap. Look, yeah. look how this whole two years went. A lot of stuff. It's only been nah. like a year and a half. Nah, nah. Or not even a year and a no half. No alcohol for you. Would you be willing to like not drink with her? Yeah, sure. Or like whatever you're indulging is. So if yeah. her indulging is a glass of wine, then like you can't smoke weed or you can't no. like, work on your. We <laughs> both. No. We He's both. Like, hold on, hold we on. Both, we both. I'll, I'll <laughs> join in if you're gonna eat like a crap because no guys normally gain weight with their wives when they're pregnant. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think that's just an excuse because, like, he sees her eating whatever she wants. So he's like, damn, yes. I want to eat too. Yeah. It's not an actual thing. Let's it's get just like pregnant he wants together. To eat. Shit. <laughs> right. It's but, like, that's not what I'm asking yeah. you. You wouldn't give up certain things no, in yeah, solidarity. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd give up weed. Yeah, I don't care. I give up weed and sober total really easily every. Like, right. But you just said no. So. I, what did I say? I, oh, I did? Did you not? Did he you not? You said no. I was saying She no. said drinking. You're like, yeah. She's like, weed. You're like, no. <laughs> no, no, I'll get up. Yeah, sure. But like, that's not even a question. Like, oh, so I can't drink while I'm pregnant. I can't have a few beers while I'm pregnant. Huh? Ah, ah. Like, mm, no. She can't have a glass of wine every now nah. and then. She can actually smoke weed after six months. No, your titty milk's gonna be in weird. No, you can smoke. Weed no, it's not- bad for your titty milk. No, it's bad for your titty milk if you're smoking no, and breastfeeding. It's, yeah, it's no. called pump and dump. You can have alcohol if yes, you're breastfeeding, but, no, but you have still, to yeah. dump it because yeah. you don't want it. To pass to the baby, it's gonna be still in the milk. No, that's why you pump it out and dump it. You clear you waste your body it, of yeah. it. Yeah, you can't works. breastfeed. He's like, I don't like that. That's not how it works. I'm not chancing it. Sorry, buddy. First of all, Sorry, most bud. women who breastfeed have like a reserve and they just nah. freeze the milk. So you feed the baby that, and then you nah, pump nah, it out and nah, dump it. Nah, 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 nah. You're not feeding the baby tequila nah, shots. Nah, 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 <laughs> I mean, he doesn't want to take no chances. No chances, buddy. This is a life. I need my alcohol. Wait a couple. Wait, wait, First of all, most years. women who pump into most women who two years. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could. Wait till the kids done. The off, average off person the breastfeeds for a year now, but like there are women who choose to breastfeed until their kids uh, like five, seven. Those are weirdos. No, but like it's yes, it's, too late, it's good too for late. the kids. Weirdos. You said women, and I forgot oh, to tell you people, that people. No, 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 no. Uh, I, was, I was gonna say that milk. I told you last week when we were talking about the Shakara, the Ooh. track star girl. She's a writer. She's a track star. Yeah, what's her name? Shakari. Uh, Richards. I, I called her Shakari, but I think her it's actually pronounced Shakari. Okay. I remember we were talking about her last week, yeah. and I told you that somebody was going to make sure she's disqualified. Yeah. She can't run in the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It's funny, because like right after, I yeah. found out that, like, because I think last week I said that she was still yeah, yeah, able yeah, to. Yeah, you did. Which technically, that part's it's not. It's true. Yeah, like. She the, was able to. The um it, the suspension does end before the relay, but she's still it not is, able yeah. to. Run, it is what it so. is. It is what it is. Cross competition, I'll do the same thing. You know, hey, man. <laughs> oh, true, you did yeah. say that. Yeah. Hugh, what's been going on in your life? Well, something's been going on. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, my friend crashed his bike. Uh,. He's fine. Uh, yeah, he like... Okay. Well, th- they need to know that. Cause but it's just the way you... <laughs> he's fine. Okay, great. No broken stuff. No really bruises, to be frank. Just road rash. Um, Yeah, no, he was like... It was funny because I woke up in the morning. He sent me the picture. I instantly knew what happened because I just saw the bike in the guardrail. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, I know what happened already. Because I, 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 I... When you say bike, please be specific. Motorcycle. Okay. Mortar... Cycle not little. a dirt bike. Not mortar. a dirt bike. A motor. Not a tricycle. Motorcycle. Um, no, he 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 was driving, and then he went down the road, and then a, he hit a patch of dirt. Oh my! That God. was on the road, and then once that happens, you're it's over. It's over, and so he just and then just crash. Oh <laughs> he said he was trying to grab. The he was trying to grip the road while he was sliding. Oh, he's trying to grip the ground. <laughs> <laughs> just stop. No, he slides like ah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't laugh that hard. 
you know what? He's okay. So it's no, okay. No, what he told me on the phone. Because t- <laughs> you're just picturing it. <laughs> no. Yeah, he said he had to get um the bikes. I wouldn't say it's totaled. It's like see, if he like changed the suspension, he could still drive it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He just his knee got screwed up because he has stitches in his knee. Oh. That was the only big damage was just his knee. Mm-hmm. If he had pants, like heavy duty pants, he would have been fine. But his knee was messed up before. No. <laughs> you, you're the worst. You just told us he was fine, barely any bruises. Well, no, like for a motorcycle crash, barely any bruises, knee. but a couple stitches. In like for knee. a motorcycle crash, he's fine. Okay, fair enough. Like, from a typical motor, he he would have had something broken. He yeah, nothing, yeah. no head injury, no nothing broken, just road rash on his arm, a little bit on his back. He got super lucky because the only real protection that he was had was a vest and a helmet and gloves. Oh. But so, like, in that context, too, he's fine. You know what I'm picturing? I'm picturing the scene where, um, <laughs> in Avengers, where Black Panther is sliding down the wall. <laughs> his, his, our, his little fingers are just gripping the wall, <laughs> That's sliding That's pretty much down. was him on the road. It's yeah. like, ah! That's exactly what I'm picturing. Yeah, except on the road and sliding. Oh, that's good that he's okay. I mean, yeah, I still want a motorcycle, but. He can't really bend his you legs, do? I do. I've always wanted one. Get a cruiser. No. That's not good this style. It was you get a cruiser. I know, but I want something that is potentially dangerous. Everything's dangerous on two reasons. wheels. Why does he go on two wheels? It's dangerous. You think so? Yeah. I think those little those what are they called? Crotch rocket. That's what I want. That's the ninja bikes. Yeah. Yeah, I want one of the <laughs> ying, 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 ying. Well, insurance is like <laughs> I got ridiculous. Well, a lot of guys ride dirty. Dirt bikes, he means. <laughs> no, one, a lot of guys ride without insurance with the sport bikes. Yeah, <laughs> it's so expensive. Like this Ontario is super expensive. Yeah, it's stupid. Literally, once you cross the border, it's like ten dollars. Well, I actually saw a tweet. Like this is months ago at this tweet, point, tweet. but um, the tweet itself sparked an interesting conversation. And the tweet said, "Some people be living in luxury while their auntie is struggling to pay the light bill. Priorities all fucked up." And Suck, the, Mike. <laughs> the conversation was that this mentality is the reason why black people as well as other minority communities sometimes struggle to get ahead. Just and the stuff. mentality that you should help everyone that you're related to, even if you don't have much financial freedom yourself, as <clears> long <throat> as you have more than them, you should help. Like that whole mentality. Um, and like, you know, obviously people were tweeting back and responding and blah 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 but i wanted to ask you guys what you think about it do you guys think this is true what's the question i guess ask in a question form please it's a conversation i want to know if you think that the idea is correct it's not necessarily a question so it's the mentality that black people in other minority communities feel like you should help everybody that you're related to even if you don't have much financial freedom yourself as long as you have more than them you should help um i think it depends it depends on and this might sound like kind of like a what you do for me i do for you thing but not necessarily that's not how i'm looking at it but if i have an aunt who let's say i kind of grew up with you know I stayed at her house. Like, I do have an aunt that when I came to Canada, I stayed with for a lot of my life and blah, blah, blah. Like, we're all really close. So if I have, I'm more willing to give to her than I am to somebody in Jamaica. (laughs) I don't care. And I told my mom, like, mom, like, you know, once you are out of this picture, then the ties that this family has with Jamaica, I am not carrying that. I, I oh, you told her that? I to her face. I don't care. Oh, what was her reaction to that? She she already knows how I am cuz like I don't like the oh Des, how are you? Everything's good. How's Caden? Yeah. You know, I was wondering if I can have a local $100 because Billy Jean needs to go to school and I don't have the money right now because <laughs> <Billie> work. <Jean. laughs> like I don't want to hear a sob story because you're checking in on me. And I don't want you to check on me once every three weeks because you know Billie Jean's birthday is coming up in two months and you want to ask me for something. And I'm not okay with it. I barely give money to my mom as that is. So if I'm not giving it to my mom, I don't know why you guys think I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that whole mentality, I I understand what they're trying to say. Like, 
if you can help your family, why not? Because at the end of the day, like, all you have is family. But if my family's not trying to help themselves, and like to me, a lot of my mom's siblings rely on her, even though she doesn't feel like that, I'm looking at the outside like, mom, every time something happens, they don't hesitate to call you. Even though you'll get upset, they know you'll send it. So, okay, you'll get upset. That's fine. Give it the next week. Don't worry. She'll send the money. Simple as that. So, no, I'm not here for none of that. You guys yeah. can figure it out. Do you feel it like it's, it's a thing? Like it a black a thing? thing? It is a thing. And it's nasty. <laughs> it's <laughs> nasty. disgusting. It's disgusting. I, I agree with that part. I think that it's for sure at least um, like a Caribbean thing. Yeah. Or I'm, wait. How do you how do you say the word? Caribbean. Car- Caribbean. Since some people want to clock the way I say it. Um, <laughs> uh, or like West Indian people. Um, and I'm sure other minorities. I yeah. just don't know how it is. I think, I think if us. you live. No. Basically, I think if you live in North America and you have people who live overseas or in a different country. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily the same for like black Americans or like black Latin or black Latinos. <laughs> I mean, there they are. But you know what I mean? Like American Latinos. Afro Latino. Who get that are. Right who are like living in the same country i think it's a little different but i do think that like if you live in america or in canada or in um the uk england right like you are seen as in a better position financially no matter how much you're struggling it's like they don't they just see that you're living somewhere else and they Uh they don't (laughs) they're just like remember i used to always like growing up i used to see my mom like have three barrels filled with all the good stuff i would like that looks great However, our cupboards are empty. I don't understand. <laughs> Cobwebs and dust. <laughs> oh, go grab a pack of macaroni from the barrel. I'll put it back. Uh, no, don't put it back. Let's just take the stuff out the mm-hmm. barrel and put it in our cupboards. I don't understand. So, I, like like I said, I do understand the family aspect of it. Like, <laughs> Not the macaroni, the craft dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the craft dinner, man. I just wanted some they lunch. They love sending craft dinner. What <laughs> like, for what? <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I think... See, I, I don't see anything wrong with sending barrels, sending money, sending gifts to certain family, but I agree with you, Des, that a lot of the time, it's like every time that they are in need, and not like a desperate situation, like, yeah. oh, you know, I can use a little groceries. Like, yeah. let me... You know, I've had family, like, call my mom and, like, give her a whole sob story Ugh. about how their fridge is broken Ugh. and this and that. And obviously, you know, a fridge is something that you need because yeah. your food is all going to spoil and you can't whatever. And I think uh, my family member at the time was doing, like, catering, like, on the side. So it's like a fridge was a, a huge necessity. Also, her daughters needed, um, like, school shoes and mm-hmm. new uniform and stuff. And my mom sent a decent amount of money for the uniforms, for the shoes, for the fridge. And then, like, two weeks later, we're getting the same sob story about the fridge. So my mom is like, Didn't I sent you yeah. the money for fr- Oh, you know, something else came up and blah, and blah, I blah. And I used it for the light bill instead. No, because- it wasn't even a bill. It wasn't something. I can't remember what it was, but it was something that, like, it was like, really? You chose that over your fridge that you yeah. claim to so desperately need? And for me, like, I believe that you should always help out whether... I don't know. I want to help out people who are close to me, whether you're actually family by blood or not. Like, if I can do something for you, I will. The only thing is, I'm, if I see you sitting on your ass and not trying to help yourself, I'm not going to want to help you. I can't help you. I can't help if you. If I see you working your ass off and you're struggling, and you I'm just need like, that little extra push, no problem. No problem. No problem. Even if it becomes a regular thing, yeah. if you're regularly working, I will regularly help. Don't look to me every single month to pay. Like, my mother was paying a family member's rent. For like, I don't know, two years, two yeah, and no, a half no way. every month on the month. And if she and he was working and he wasn't trying to save any money Nothing. and it was like a yeah. decent job, too. And it was like he was just, you know, doing whatever he wanted with his money and looking to her to, to, to pay. pay my bills. Yeah. It's like, that's not fair. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't I definitely I don't know why they have that mentality. Because when you, like, the truth, and I don't want to make it a, like, a race thing, but when you look at white people, they don't do that. If they see their family member being a complete bum, like, they'll they help. They don't care. No, they, yeah, they'll, they'll help, help them where out, they but need. they're going to be like, yeah. you got to get your shit together. And if you don't, like, I help cannot you help you. get a job. Let me, I'll help you set yourself up, but uh-huh. then you got to stand on your own two feet. And if you don't want to, you don't want to. And they feel no ways of keep walking. James didn't want to get his life together. I tried to help him. That's too bad for James. Yeah, I feel like with Caribbean people... 
they're like, oh, he's still down on his luck. Oh, he still needs help. He still it's needs rough this. down there. Yeah, it's rough yeah. everywhere, man. <laughs> it's rough. Right. When parents say, oh, you don't know how it is down there. It's I don't like, care. Like, I don't care. I don't. But like we struggle here, too. I also don't care. Yeah, like, my mom knows how I am, so there, she knows certain things she cannot ask me. Like, now my aunts and uncles, they don't really bother me anymore. Mm. They they will message me, like, on Caden's birthday, my birthday, Father's Day. They'll tell me Happy Father's Day. And I just keep it short and simple. Um, when my mom is, like, FaceTiming them, like, I'll pop in, say hi, and get out. Because oh. you're, not, you're not getting comfortable. You're not going to go breed and tell me you don't have money to take care of a child and expect me to send X, Y, like, I don't know. Yeah, don't it makes me extra bitter when they yeah. don't try to communicate with you outside mm -hmm. of asking for whatever it is. Of course, when they need something, it's, oh, how are you? Yeah, how's, how's everything this? going? For you, it's, how's your son? How's mm -hmm. whatever? How's work? How's school? And then it's like, oh, you know, I could really use, and then they get into whatever it is. What, yeah. Or they and don't just ask directly, they just give you... Oh, you know, the first of the month is coming up, and I'm two months behind on my bills. And, and the true said the work that me did have not gone no more, and I don't care. No, I don't no care. No food in the fridge. Go live in the bushes. Nothing to eat, nothing to feed the kids, and it's like huh? cook up some lizards for all I care. It's like I don't even know you. You don't make an effort to like. They, you At call all. me family, but like you don't make an effort to have any sort of relationship with Nothing. me. You don't like, know what I even... look like anymore. Right. Aside from my WhatsApp picture. Sorry. <laughs> so I definitely don't like that. Not to like put my family on blast, but like also I'm doing it because I don't care. No, me too. I had a family member who like every six. So I went down to Jamaica to visit family, the family I actually talked to. And then when they heard that I was in town, um, they like I felt like a celebrity. They were trying to meet me, trying to coordinate anywhere I was. They're like, "We'll come to you. Like, we just want to see you. We like mm -hmm. just praises." And when I saw them, mm -hmm. it was hugs and oh my Kisses gosh, and and pictures. And I was like, get and, mm -hmm. "I was like, oh my god!" Like, Shit. yeah, I should move down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, not not quite. The mosquitoes <laughs> fucked me up, but <laughs> but um, the minute I came back, it was like consistent calls and mm -hmm. all that stuff, and I was like, "What? Why?" They wanted me to like I send them money. a no a visa. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. They wanted, but like what they don't understand is I can't just write you an application. Like you need to stay with me mm -hmm. and like I'll and have I space need to for you. you. And I'm not doing that. Right, and I'm not gonna like sign up for that. Especially You're not allowed to work for like only, this much. I'm like no. You only just came in, not really just came into my life, but you know what I mean. Like yeah, we haven't yeah. talked in years, and all yeah. of a sudden you are you want to be my best friend because you want to come up here. Like that's not how it works. We're not friends. Yeah, I my have... mom always used to say like that saying, um, you should seek a friend before you need a friend. Mm -hmm. It's like be a good friend to someone so that when you do need something, it's They're not there. Yeah. right. Not only trying to buddy buddy up to someone because you need something. Exactly. Yeah, uh, I have. Uh... I think he's my uncle or cousin. I actually don't know. <laughs> uncle um, cousin. Yeah. <laughs> uncle cousin brother. <laughs> he he was up here, but he was more so near Niagara. And my mom was telling me, oh, yeah, so-and-so is over here. Oh, cool. Whatever. Here's his number. And I gave him yours. And my like, mom, you know I don't like that. Like, why would you? Oh, Des, you know, he's a good boy. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. That's what I hear. And then he messaged me, what's up? Okay. Little of nothing conversation. He's telling me he came up here on a work visa. <laughs> But he's doing some farm work and it's so hard and blah, oh. blah, 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 blah. And I'm oh, that's I'm unfortunate. Working in the vineyards. And then he's asking me, like, where do I live? And I just told him, like, I live in Toronto. And he's like, oh, like, what's your address? Did you say Toronto? Yeah. That's how you actually say it? Yeah. Oh. When, when you told me how people actually say it, I was like, ew. It's not Toronto. When you said it, I actually got, like, shivers, like, in not a good way just now. Like, um, I told him I live in Toronto. I'm like, do you actually live there? Because <laughs> You wouldn't like say it like it. Um, yeah, and he wanted my exact address, and I was just like, oh. Like, I ended the conversation kind of there because I know what you're going to try and do. You're going to take all your stuff. You're going to run away to my house mm -hmm. and think you can just stay here and be like, oh, you know, let me look something else. I couldn't do that one. No, no. I know how nasty and sly you guys are. So I just blocked him. Not nasty and slack. <laughs> like, I just can't do it. It's the way they go about things. And I understand, like, you really just want a better life and all that. Like, I know a guy whose dad was back home. He, he was married to his wife and all that. He met some girl who liked him. And he went to his wife. And he had, like, I think four kids. And he was like, babe, I'm going to be gone for a while. This is what I'm going to do. This is the plan. Mm-hmm. And he went, stayed with that lady, got married to that lady. Um, and maybe I think a two years he lived with her and then divorced her. 
and then file for his actual family to come out. And I'm like, that is so disgusting. That is disgusting. I don't know the game. anyone in that situation in particular, but I do know someone who uh, you hear about it all, all the, time, the time. But like, I do know I know the guy actually because I knew him. Like, he was a cousin of like a friend, and he came up um, on a. He met a woman. She was on vacation. Mm-hmm. You know, a beautiful mm. white Canadian of woman mm. on vacation. She wanted that. He, dirt. he he romanced her, sweet of talk. Course. You know, they he get engaged, them guts. got married. He came up here. First of all, he was living with his cousins who I knew. He wasn't even living at the house, but he had to keep a couple clothes yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. in case the the immigration people go over checked. There. Yeah. And like he had he had a girlfriend and everything. Like when, meanwhile, he's supposed to be having a wife. Like he doesn't mm-hmm. he didn't check up on her. He didn't do anything. And you know, it was actually very sad. I don't yeah. mean to like dampen the mood, but like she ended up getting cancer and like she passed away. Oh man. And it's like this is after a few years though, yeah. but it's still like, well, guess he got what he wanted because now he's in the country and like no, no, if ands or buts. He didn't have to go through a divorce Nothing, or anything, yeah. and it's just like that's so. That's crazy. Like, you felt good about doing that to someone in in the last years of their life. They don't care. It's just like, come on. To them, it's you or me, and they're always gonna choose them. I'm just saying there are other ways, you know? Yeah. How about you try and like somebody first? And, and actually, there's people, not saying, first of all, I'm not condoning this in any way, shape, or form, but there are people who will let, who will marry you, like, as long as, like, you pay them a certain, like, you know? Somebody yeah. asked me that when I was Like, they'll 15. do it consensually. <laughs> Don't manipulate people who are, like, literally looking for love and yeah. trying to, like, have a life. Yeah. You know, like, not that you should do that, obviously, but, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, there's when other I was ways. 15, a girl offered to pay me when I was 18 to marry her. I was like, block. <laughs> Weirdo, my mom told me about you guys. Block. <laughs> <laughs> my mom warned me about Yeah, but guys. now at this big, big age, I don't know. I don't know. We can see. We can see. Okay. Love comes in all shapes Even and your sizes. your mail order bride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is no, she here just, yet? <laughs> it's just weird. Like the things you see is like a first generation. Yeah. Yeah. Of, Dwayne and Dante don't see these things. Of like cool. an immigrant um, parent. But like Hugh, you are also first generation of immigrant parents. But I don't think you I don't have these problems. But like, is that why is that? I don't know. My family has money, but maybe you have. <laughs> I'm he sorry. Just, he just called us I'm broke sorry. and our whole family is <laughs> yeah. broke. What the hell? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have these problems. Like Barrel, no, I don't have these. Problems. Maybe I think because you're the youngest one. That you too. Don't see well, my dad. I I remember the last time I went to uh, Jamaica. My dad gave. Um, some of his siblings' money. But, like, on my mom's side, no, they're all good. It must but, be nice. On my dad's side, I, I for the most part, they're mm, good, Here's too. the thing, though, because I actually do have family overseas with money. Like, more money than I have. Like, like this cousin of mine, I went down... To, she's the one who I was visiting when the mm-hmm. family tried to make me feel like... like Famous. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, when I went down there she they had just about a month ago a month prior moved into a new house beautiful like and she was doing renovations she had time to take off of work to like take Mm. me around and like she was doing these renovations and bought the house and she wasn't even working at the time she was just using her savings because she had that much banked Mm. and she was like in between jobs and it was like that's what I mean. Like, she had enough mm-hmm. money to just be comfortable, which is great. Like, good for her. But, like, we've still sent barrels mm-hmm. to them. She's come up here. We've bought her plane ticket. It's just that, like, sorry, it's like entitlement, you know? It is. They feel like. Because you're in a different country and you're not yeah. here, you definitely have way more than your say you have. Yeah. Yeah, and then like when when they come here, it's like you know treat them like royalty, mm-hmm. take them here, take them and there. you're paying for everything, every single thing, and it's like when I go down there, I still have to buy my own KFC, <laughs> buy your KFC too, <laughs> you and your damn KFC. <laughs> no, but like because I was thinking about what Hugh said, but I'm like why is it that like my family that has money still does the same shit as my broke family? You, no, no, you, you enable it. I don't enable it. My, like I'm I'm in a similar situation with Des where like my mother enables it and then it mm-hmm. kind of like trickles down to me like, nope! with like expectations there is certain family that like like I will always continue to support mm-hmm. because they are so good to us and like you know what I mean the family that checks in yeah, on you yeah. and you know like but that's like one or two people yeah. <laughs> that's not like everybody I just realized you have a volleyball on your shoulder is that a volleyball? yeah that was my second tattoo oh I just realized that 
Yeah. I know you like you like volleyball that much. He's obsessed. <laughs> Jeez, I had to tone it down. I know you like it. I know you like it that much. No, no he doesn't. He doesn't like down. it. Like oh, is an yeah. understatement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear me say in a previous podcast that I used to choose volleyball over my own girlfriend, and now I feel bad. Oh, I don't feel bad. No. It's okay. It's volleyball, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a very cute thing to say. Very, very. <laughs> Um, so does you said that based off of our episode last week, yes, a friend of yours was in a similar situation. Okay. So for those of you who did not hear last week's episode, uh, we had a listener. What would we name her? Um, Jizzy with the glizzy. Jizzy. Jizzy with the glizzy. We didn't name her. We didn't name her. Jizzy with the glizzy. Um, um, so is that her real name? I don't know. That's the name that we got. Yeah. Uh, so um <laughs> it's a joke jizzy jizz there was a Fuck. there's a woman i'm not gonna call her a girl there's a woman oh, who Jesus. was in a relationship or is in a relationship um she went out with some friends one night um this is this, sorry this is the scenario yes the, no this is the oh previous you're giving for the those listeners of a recap yeah. got it okay so um she's with her boyfriend and her close friends um two other two other women and a male well, two males, her boyfriend and the other friend. Um, so her best friend is engaged to the other guy. Um, they get into an argument. The best friend goes home. Her, her boyfriend, and the other girlfriend who was there um, end up having a little shebang bang, a little threesome. Um, and the the no best friends, the no penetration for the other girl. <laughs> um, the fiance. No in general. No, her boyfriend definitely fucked. She said, she said no sex, so I don't know. Ugh, that's stupid. <laughs> Ugh, that's your boyfriend. Um, anyways, so the yeah, fiance was still there, out. and he they were in a <laughs> they're all at a hotel room, and he stayed and watched. However, the friend got upset and is barely talking to them. Yada 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 yada. That friend's stupid. That's not the point. <laughs> How are you gonna so, recap and say yada yada yada? Friend stupid. <laughs> friend stupid. <laughs> wow, great <laughs> recap. <laughs> Um. So that was a very Eugene like recap. You yeah, know? because it's like Especially I was towards the end when there. I was thinking about the ending. I was like, oh, friends are stupid. You didn't want to get yourself riled yeah. up again, so you said yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So I have a friend who was in a similar situation. Um. They did ask me my opinion, and they did say to ask you guys, even though I know what you guys are gonna say. Are so, we gonna give this person a name? Like, a um, fake name? we can call this person because you guys always love. To... Is this a female? Yes, we can call her Bella. Bella, yeah, she's too sweet. I know, but I think Bella's stupid. What? Twilight. Oh. Oh yeah. I don't know why I thought of like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, oh, but boy. I don't. That's not her. Her name yeah. is Belle, not that's Bella. Stretch, okay, so let's call her Bella. Okay. Bella. So Bella is seeing this guy. She's been seeing this guy for two years. Um, are they officially dating? No, but you know when you're seeing only one person for so long, they're you're... fucking. Yeah, they're in a relationship with they're no in title. An entanglement. They're in an entanglement. Oh fuck! However, I hate that term. however, this it's stupid this guy has an actual girlfriend. Oh my god, I hate these people. That's... Oh, so that's ugh, that's a situation ship. Yeah, oh but she's okay with it. Who? Um, Bella's Bella. okay with it. B- why was why is Bella's opinion matter? Bella's not a girlfriend. All right, so <laughs> no, she, he's saying that Bella's okay with being the side chick. Yeah. Oh, I thought you yeah. said Bella's okay with him. No, no, no. Girlfriend. She's okay like, with that stupid. too. Bella's okay with that too. It doesn't matter no, what they... you think is okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're the side piece. Okay, exactly. All right. Well, yeah, no one's gonna be a yeah. willing side piece if they're not okay with it. Yeah. So. so, um, Bella knows how this guy is. Whatever. First of all, girl, come on. Who Do better. Thank standards? you very much. Come on, you deserve um, better. So Bella and this guy, like they go on dates. Like he treats her like an actual girlfriend for some aspect of it. Um, but she understands her place also. So on certain stupid. days, she Eugene, knows. Sorry, stupid. sorry to interrupt. Does he, I just it's want everyone to know? Hugh is just here shaking his head. <laughs> I find that shit so stupid. If you want, if you want, that's what you want, that's what you want, whatever. Who cares? So, I, think, I think it's. I wouldn't do. It. I think it's stupid. That's what on I said both too. sides. That's what I, I wouldn't said. be a side piece, and I wouldn't have a side piece if I'm in a relationship. It's, that's too much. It's too much work. I gotta care about you and you. Like uh, <laughs> I can like, barely care about you. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh too hard <laughs> because you're not saying you wouldn't do it for moral reasons. You're saying you're too lazy to do it. Too, that's why. I, like, did, and I, then I, you enforce the fact that you would hardly care about one. Because I, 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 I don't know how guys 
do it. Like, I don't know how guys have so. I'm like, that's like, I tried. It's, it's just greed. I tried. It's thing. hard. It's like, oh, I gotta what remember you what tried? I tried. When I was in my <laughs> Tinder days, I tried talking to multiple girls. Like, just talking to three, I was like, this is so it's much fucking, fucking work. It's emotionally exhausting. To yes. Talking to a bunch of people. Oh my God. Even two. The thing is, it yeah. is exhausting. However, if the other one knows your situation and they're okay with it, you know, like, you can't pass a certain level. No, but that. not even that. Think about, like, well, like talking to a bunch of people. Like, you like you said, uh, Hugh, Tinder, right? Like, I don't... Even, like, the getting to know someone stage... That's my favorite. That's I my, hate it because, to me, favorite. it's very repetitive. Oh, what do you do? Well, I, I, what do you do for fun? For me, fun? it's my least favorite because I actually don't care. Oh. I just want to get in the gut. Oh, I Ew. <laughs> 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 that's my favorite I want to know about your past so I know how I have to treat you no I, I'm not saying I don't like to that's get to know someone job they have <laughs> what whatever the, when people ask you what's your job that just lets them know whatever you say lets them know how much I should respect you it's like oh, oh my God. I'm a janitor okay fuck off oh, oh I'm a God. doctor okay then I respect you more that's why I asked what, it's not you actually the reason so why twisted. so what, what <laughs> What does what does being a mailman say? It says I'm don't respect me. I know I know where I am on a totem pole. He's like I know where I live. Fucking five. I don't. Obviously that's me. Oh, I'm a happy five right now. Um. Okay. Yeah. 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 So she she's a side girl. Um. And she's had how old is she? Side side chick. How old is she? Uh, she's around our age, late twenties. Yeah, you're too old for this shit, lady. No, no, been too old from your like 16. This yeah, should never, too old there's no age. Shit. It shouldn't be okay. <sighs> um, so she's a side yeah, chick. Over um, 22, it's like uh, even before 20, like no, I, never I, should, I should be okay. I don't think it's acceptable, but like if that's what makes you happy, there's go something ahead. like when you're super naive and you're just nah. like, maybe he'll leave me, like nah, one of those, but like. Nah. That's and that's why, like, if I had a daughter, I need her to understand, like, none of this is ever okay ever <laughs> like yeah, whether you're 14 15 like as soon as he face. says he has a girlfriend like and yeah, i don't no, want to have no, be friends no, with you don't waste your time um don't be a side piece guys <laughs> so Both sides. she had a threesome with him mm. with the girlfriend and another girl oh this is a different girl yes oh so this is okay oh so he's just out there putting his dick he's in swagging. everybody so yeah. when they're having the threesome yeah is there penetration? Uh, she, yes, oh, definitely. Oh. This is a full blood, okay. like blood. three sub. Oh, yeah, oh. blood. <laughs> um, and she felt hurt emotionally because she was you watching see? him have sex with the other girl, and she was like, "He doesn't touch me like that." Like he's You're mo- a side piece. You're not more, the main. He's more rough with me than he is with her. Why is that? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was loving this too much. <laughs> He's not soft. <laughs> and yeah, because she is emotionally invested. I'm like, He's not stupid. From day two, he well, told you, you he had she's a girlfriend. Not seeing anyone else no, for the last two no, years. No, exactly. Yeah, because she views it as a relationship. And that's what I was telling her oh. that her problem was like from day two when he said, I have a girlfriend. Day and one. You slept with him still. You will never pass this bar. Yeah. Even if for five years you you felt like you guys were together, you're not yeah. his girlfriend at the end of the that day. That makes me sad. Like it makes me really sad for the girlfriend because obviously she no, doesn't definitely. know this is exactly. going on. And like, oh, she does know about. The, she I thought the girlfriend knew about the side no, piece. the girlfriend doesn't know. Oh, about she doesn't anything. know. Oh, He's I thought she did. Like, no, the yeah. side piece knows about the girlfriend, but, oh. but the girlfriend doesn't know. Oh. And it's not just this side chick. He's having threesomes with mm. other girls. Like, he's just being super disgusting. Yeah. And it's like, no mm. one deserves that. But, like, also, for this woman to... Oh, that wasn't me. Um, For... To, to like, accept that. That's as, what I said. As just being okay. It's like... She needs to see that she deserves I'm, better. And I'm not even trying to be preachy because you guys agree with me. 100%. It's like, Go to therapy, she, kid. She needs to hold herself in higher regard. <laughs> Thank you. You know, that's what I said. I thought, I thought the, she and then, so much better than what she's giving herself and that other woman. What she's doing to the other woman is not okay. What I and said, what she's doing to herself is not okay. That's what I said. And I, I get it. It's hard when you have feelings for someone, but it's not. you shouldn't have allowed that. To Ever, get to that's that what I from day two when you heard he has a one, girlfriend. One. It was day two. He told her. That's why I keep saying day two. Whatever. Day two. Because day how one. How many feelings did you catch in one, in, well, in one day? Well, day one, you know, she it's like, oh, this is so sweet. You know, we went on a cute walk, starlight. Like, he seems like a nice, decent guy. Day two, They all seem nice and decent at first. Until they stick their dingling in your thingling, and then it's over. 
if you yeah, guys, if you guys were to meet Desert Hugh on the street, you'd be like, oh, these are some nice guys. Oh, I'm and the then you hear the podcast and you're like, whoa. whoa. Like, I'm telling you, they all seem nice and decent at first. They were still <laughs> men. Yeah. And yeah, so I was just telling her, like, what? <laughs> you just got the shade? What? Oh, okay, never <laughs> you mind. said, you asked me what? Uh, I thought I heard something. Never yeah, mind. she. No, I didn't um, say anything just now. She kind of like backtracked like as she's watching them she okay this is weird but whatever and then after she brought it up to him like oh i noticed that you're more gentle with her than you and he lost his mind like yeah he said some stuff to her that were super foul and you're just a side and then he's like you know what get out like i don't want you no more Mm. and she felt bad and i'm like why do you feel bad I don't, I don't understand. Like mm. you shouldn't be there, anyways. Yeah. And she's, oh, but I really do like him. And you're the, the side piece. Yeah, you're disposable from the beginning. From from day that's zero. The point of the, uh, that's yeah. what that's I what said. That's what a side piece he is. He made it obvious he had no intention of leaving his girlfriend. Um, but the unfortunate part is that you know, even though I did say whatever I said, they were like, honestly, if he were that's- to stay like that for the next ever, they would comfortably be like that for the next ever <sighs> and i'm like, like maybe it had to happen to like push her to yeah like people are weird that situation you know, hopefully she finds first of all that's disgusting herself. on his part too like he's just a trash human being that's obviously what I said. well hopefully she finds better for herself yeah truly truly and and oh, oh <laughs> i hope his like girlfriend Hears this podcast and is like, hmm, this kind of sounds like my situation. <laughs> yep. And then does some investigating because yep. she deserves better and she needs to get herself yeah. tested because she needs to figure he's it dipping out. his dick every single dip stick. Yeah, dip literally. It, dip it. Is that what those things are called? Dipsticks? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, oh fun dip? Where like you lick it and you dip it in the powder and then you are those the same thing, dipstick and fun stick. Well, dipsticks when you're checking your oil level. True, but like, it was in there a, a candy? Oh, so maybe just, I'm thinking of Fun Dip then. Yeah, I, I used to make fun of people and call them dipstick. Dip yeah. Yeah. Dip. I remember that used to be a thing too. Yeah. I hope that's not it's like not, offensive. It's not. Oh, okay. It's, Are you literally it's just highly the, racist. the oil thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, racist term. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully so, she. Heals yeah, Bella. Herself. Idiot. Stupid. Good. Dummy. Excellent. She needs to hear this. That's you why. Know, I think. I'll be fine better, buddy. Yeah. Heal from your shit. You need to you learn go to, to value yourself more, and then you will no longer put up with stuff like that. And Write in a journal. Never just stay away from situations like this again. Like, don't even dip your toe in. Because you know what it's going to be. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, like, the you have feelings, and they are valid. It makes sense why you are mm-hmm. upset, because you are let invested. your heart get into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So your yeah, feelings you know right now are very valid, but you have to take accountability because you are the reason why you mm-hmm. have said feelings. Mm-hmm. You allowed yourself you to go there. To and yourself. You did do it to yourself. Doesn't mean that you're not allowed to, you know, feel bad. Like I said, you, well, they broke up human, seven times in two years, but well, how did they you break, break up? up? They're never yeah. were a relationship. You're the side piece, honey. Maybe you can say broke it off. You can't say bro- broke up. Nothing was cause... broken off because you're still feel still breaking it in that gooch. No, it's still what. And it's good. Weird though. No, it was still a situationship, so there was something to break off. No, nah, they were breaking. He was breaking that back. I mean, perhaps as well, but I don't see why that's relevant. <laughs> you. Oh, Go to therapy, kid. Read a book. Write a journal. Self love. Um, we are now at the portion of the podcast where we are going to be answering a listener submitted question so if you are listening and you are interested in writing in or sharing a story or anything much like dad's friend or this person you know who is coming up then please do so you can go to this square room.com slash ask um you can choose to be anonymous like this upcoming person is oh sorry and um yeah again this square room.com slash ask um <clears throat> so this person is choosing to be anonymous Ooh. but the subject is Lingerie. I hate it. Go ahead. I hate it. Sorry, I hate it. I think it's... Anyways, go ahead. I, I think it's a waste of time. Squeal like a little girl and then say, I hate I it. I just want you I'm naked. To me, it's a girl then. Um, so he says... He? Yes. It's a guy in lingerie? No, you, oh, he's asking about lingerie. The subject is just lingerie. Oh. We, don't, we don't know what the question is okay, yet. Okay, what are we going to call him? Uh, you know what? You guys... <laughs> let's call him Squidward. 
Squidward. Okay. You Squidward. guys love to jump to conclusions before I actually ask yeah. the question. <laughs> you Do you know what it is? Out. For me, it's a self self defense mechanism. Why? You think because, he's gonna come no, for you? No, I realized when I was younger, I used to never know what I get in trouble for. Hmm. So I'd always try and figure it out. You before. think you're getting in trouble with this? Uh... I just that's just my habit now. Try and beat people to the punch so I yeah, know how to contain my emotions. Because I'll be talking and like you'll finish my yeah. sentence. I want to know how to act. I don't like and to some, be surprised. Sometimes you're right, but sometimes I'm like, no, <laughs> you're, you're way like, off. And then like I go to tell you again, and you like you're like, oh, da da da. I'm like, no, Dad, shut up. I'll I tell like, you. I don't like surprises. <laughs> yeah. So he says, sup, everyone. Got a question for all of you. What's up, Squid? For the guys, do you think that men these days still get excited to see females in lingerie? Or has seeing girls half naked all over Instagram ruined that excitement? For Joe, do you think girls still <laughs> have the desire to wear lingerie as they once did? Thanks, guys. You guys are dope. Can I answer both? Uh, sure. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so again, first question is, we'll, we'll go one at a time. Mm-hmm. First question is, do you think that men these days still get excited to f- see females, <clears throat> women, in lingerie? <laughs> Or has seeing girls half naked all over Instagram ruined that excitement? Um, I've never been excited since day one. However, I do think seeing people half naked. But you grew naked, up in the era of like internet. Yeah, yeah. So. You're fucking at eleven, so <laughs> that's why I didn't find lingerie exciting. Like I didn't go through the phases of like there wasn't lingerie slowly that small. undress the nervous. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go. Like through imagine that. being like oh, yes. in your <laughs> teens or like young twenties in the nineties or eighties. You know, lingerie yeah. isn't even a thing then too. What do you mean? They weren't wearing lingerie in the nineties. Of course they were. They were. Our kids' age? No. At our age, no. Those were punk rockets. They're like, let me see my bush. And no. They weren't down, no. Laundry is like laundry is like fifties. Are you out of your mind? Laundry is not a sick that's no. That that's the, You're saying that women haven't worn lingerie since the fifties. No, not not regularly, no. With their husbands or with nah, their boyfriends on special nah, occasions. They nah, have not done that. You nah, are way out of the pocket. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking nah, about. Nah, you are stupid as hell. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, nope. That is just not true. It's nah, not true. Nah, it's true now. You're an idiot. He said it's true now. <laughs> you can't make that a fact. Hey, man, I'm making it a you're fact. You're telling me yep. women yep. have not worn lingerie. Regularly. I'm not saying... I don't think most women don't wear it every single night, but you'll wear it on like date night or like nah. Valentine's Day or your anniversary, like special occasions I don't, I don't with your boyfriend know. or husband or nah. your situation ship, your entanglement, whoever. Nah. You're saying women have not done that since regularly. 1950. Regularly. <laughs> regularly. No one wears lingerie regularly. I think you're mixing up like a negligee, which is like a nightgown that's kind that of sexy is. that you can sleep in. Yeah, I know what that is. Versus Silky and all that lingerie. Stuff. Nah. Regularly? Nah. I'm on Joe's side. Sorry. Nah, I don't care. Nah, no. <laughs> but you, you don't know shit. Nah, I'm not. It's facts. <laughs> it's not facts. 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 I want facts. you guys to know he's saying facts with a huge facts. smile on his face. <laughs> facts, man. This is the modern age. You don't need facts. Feelings are facts. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even saying the word right. It's facts. facts. <laughs> You're saying facts like fucking printer. Facts. It's stupid. It's called... Ugh. Hate you. <laughs> you're just frustrating me so much because you're, you're frustrating not, yourself. You're, you're yes. letting yourself get angry. It's it's your lack of like even acknowledging that you could potentially be nah. wrong. Facts. You're just <laughs> so willfully ignorant. It's annoying. <laughs> Since the 1950s. Yeah, man. Not regularly. I do not. think internet ruined that. I do. Lingerie. I think the prices of it ruined it. Not just lingerie, just like people half naked in general. Like, oh, but do you think guys would appreciate it now? Um, if we didn't see it so often in music videos and in on the internet and stuff like that, for sure. I, I, I love like it. Like if I love it personally. If I had like if there was no access to porn, huh. I would like I would lose my you. mind if a girl ever blew on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> but now like my my thing is deep down her throat and I'm like, come on, buddy, wake up <laughs> Wake up <laughs> So funny. So funny. Why am I soft? <laughs> Look at Joe's Come face. Come on! Come on! <laughs> you can Why am it. I soft in this throat? Oh, you meant like talking to your dick yeah. to wake yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, God. I thought you meant the woman. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> That's why my jaw dropped. Oh, no. I thought you were like, Oh, my God. I'm so sorry if you guys thought that. That's what I thought. 
Yes. No, no, okay. Jesus. Come on, man. Oh, my God. You think I'm going to put it in her mouth while she's sleeping? <laughs> or unconscious? I don't know. Oh That's why it was God. like death. No, 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 and no. And then <laughs> he was cackling. You know, he likes jokes yeah, like Hugh that. Yeah, so. I knew what it was when he said it. Wake up. Yeah. I'm Soft sorry. Dick. I don't have a dick to know that, Jeez you know, that's a common Louise. thing. So it's, it's not really common. It's just if you do too many things. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, my mind was like, wait, what? Oh, but I do Christ. think it's lost its touch. Um, I don't and I do want to answer the second question. Um Wait, hold I, on, hold on. We'll let you. Oh, I thought you did <laughs> when he was like, nah, 1950s. Oh, I guess. Sorry, um, I forgot that rant. <laughs> do I think guys would appreciate it still now? Yeah, I think so. Um, do you think it lost its touch? No. Well, of course not, because he thinks they haven't done it since the 1950s. <laughs> no, I, so. I just don't see it as. I don't know. Every girl I've known, they say they don't do the whole lingerie thing. I only have known one girl who did lingerie stuff as like a regular underwear. She's in France. <laughs> she's French, so that's a really French thing to do. Um, but do I think guys would appreciate it? Probably. Because I, I personally, I, I she personally wore love it. Lingerie as, as a regular, regular underwear. underwear. Yeah. I think you're just like mistaking like a lace bra and pants. No, no, no. As like no, lingerie. she no, she, she like my friend told me she would wear lingerie as regular underwear just because okay. she felt sexy in it or whatever. She's French, man. They do that. No, stuff. but I still think you're mistaking it. No, I know what lot. I know the whole lacy. I know all that I shit. I don't think you do. I know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think you I do. I follow enough Instagrams. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't know. I think it's cool. I like it still. Um, it's expensive, though. Yeah, that's why they don't do it because yeah. we don't deserve Since it. Since the 50s. Um, you can get like cheaper lingerie, but it's like you get what you pay for. Yeah. Thing. Um, yeah, so the... The second one. Which second was, question is, do you think girls still have the desire to wear lingerie as they once did? Everyone can answer, but I do want to go first. Oh, no, um, can you go last? Because you're the girl. So I feel like you should hear <laughs> the nonsense we have to say first. So the fact that you're going into this saying that you're saying nonsense just does not make me feel confident. But go what for it. What was the question again? Listen. <laughs> you, <laughs> could you. Could you repeat the question, please? <laughs> he like. Why is it that I always have to constantly repeat the questions for you? Why don't I'm, you just pay attention I'm the not, first time? I've not heard the things I've said in the past. I'm upstairs classed. <laughs> you don't have class. Let's just put that out there. Because yeah, I'm upstairs. Um, it, <laughs> do you think that girls still have the desire to, to wear, wear lingerie as they once did? I don't. In yeah. the 1950s. Um, <laughs> I, I, I probably. Uh, uh, All right, Des. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that um, was. Maybe, I guess so. I don't know. Probably not because it's so expensive. You just answered all three. Yeah. Yes, no, and maybe. Probably not. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I, I actually Depends don't. on the person. No. If they're into that <laughs> stuff. Thank you. You're actually, my blood is boiling right now. It's okay. Um, heat, up the, heat up the water bottle. Make it hot water. <laughs> so funny. Go ahead, um, I think they do have the desire. I think like they want to, but it's why would I do that if you're not gonna appreciate it? Like if you want to buy, give me the money to buy it, I'll buy something sexy. But it's not like I'm gonna put it on one day, like hey honey, and you're gonna be like oh hey, and then keep walking, you know, or, or you're gonna appreciate it for two seconds like me, and then rip it off. Like yeah. why would they have the desire to want to buy? It. I know, but me, I, like, I I personally don't care about lingerie, like, and I don't like to pretend I do. So like I just I don't know like, like I like yeah like <laughs> I understand like you want to look sexy I get it but I just think you're sexy naked so like just be naked the clothes like you know if it's like a sexy dress okay fine but if it's literal lingerie I'm not into that stuff like I, I like it. it makes you think it does but it's like, like thinking do we deserve it no and I agree with girl like I agree with women like most men don't deserve it so why would i spend that money and buy the lingerie like that's ridiculous so i i think they have the desire but do it for yourself. what are you gonna do with the desire you want to feel sexy do it for yourself <sighs> not for that much money i think some women definitely do they do it for themselves a hundred percent um i think when you have a partner especially in a oh, heterosexual Lord. relationship look des is ready to destroy the whole podcast the whole thing whole spilling thing. water all over the place Extra electrocute everybody <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i think you know not to like shit on men but just you know speaking of for the last few generations it's a lot more of like cutting directly to the 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 main course and forgetting the foreplay and yes. that sort of thing and like that's that's what 
the lingerie is for, you know? And, like, if it even comes off. Because some people, like, it's like, I paid a lot of money for it. Like, I'm going to keep it mm-hmm. on. That's why they have, like, crotchless. Or, like, you pull, pull it <laughs> to the side. Like? Crotchless? It's exactly what it sounds like. It's just crotchless? There's yeah. no crotch. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Those are my favorites. <laughs> I ain't gotta move so nothing. Just, just underwear with no no crotch. No yes. crotch. Just lips out. Just lips <laughs> out. Lips out. <laughs> lips out. Oh, wow. Well. He's like, I'm gonna have to look you, for those <laughs> gifts. You've never heard of crotchless panties? I've like seen pictures of them, but I didn't know what they had. You've seen pictures? Yeah, he's, yes. like, he's like, I just thought. Gifts, come on. You've seen pictures, but when I said it, you didn't know? No, I didn't know. I thought there'd be more of a fancy name for it. There's always a fancy name for it. Maybe there is, but I know the common... Le Crotch. Le Crotchless Panty. The lips. The lips show (laughs) up. Oh, my God. (laughs) Joe, please continue. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, Joe. Just please. I I wasn't going to. I actually was not going to. You want to see a trick, honey? (laughs) (laughs) So, as you were saying, Joe? I don't even want to say it anymore. <laughs> to be honest. I don't even. I don't even want Imagine to. Imagine someone could do that on command. <laughs> Just down there. I'm a motor rope. <laughs> <laughs> what did you watch as a child? Moments like this, I hate being the only woman. Why did you, what did you watch as a child? Uh, you watched, are getting like flushed. Why are you the, laughing so hard? Because I'm laughing. You're He's turning picturing. like the color of uh, your shirt. Yeah, you are. Yeah, Because uh, it's joy. It's, it's the, the picture. color of joy, my friends. No, I watched like, I watched a lot of shows. I, shouldn't I, I watched my brother play like Grand Theft Auto 3 I when know, I was like You're not going to blame. I'm not blaming. I'm Grand Theft Auto. That's, that's the beginning. Oh, boy. I played video. The, my favorite video that's game was like. That's the beginning? That's the beginning. I, my favorite Crotchless video. Crotchless panties is the beginning of Grand Theft Auto. No, Grand Theft Auto is the That's beginning of. That's what started the fucked upness. I watched my oh, brother. Oh, his d- beginning. Typed in Rhino. Then a, a fucking tank would come from the sky and land. Oh, shit. He would and, go again. And then, like, <laughs> I watched, like, cartoons like Ren and Stippy and stuff. Yeah, so that's would. where my humor's yeah. all fucked. And I watched yeah. Boondocks when it came out. I watched Boondocks when I was in the sixth grade. Boondocks. Yeah, you yeah. remind me of Stimpy. So, like... No, yeah, yeah, that's... And accurate. then, like, Ripping Friends and all that stuff. And then what yeah. else? And then I played, like, games like Need for Speed, which is pretty much just running away from the police. <laughs> Joe, why'd you look at me like that? Because <laughs> I'm like, what the... What, what does, does running away with the police have to do with... <laughs> Because it, it adds to my fucked up humor. I did stuff that kids probably shouldn't do. So it led to my fucked up. I don't Des, know. Did you ever play? Uh, uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 was my favorite game. Oh, really? There's no police oh, in okay. There. So why didn't you instantly think of, like, what do you call it? Blowing raspberries? There's no police in there. Is that what it's called? Is, does it have a name? Yeah, what? well, I know, like, when you do it on a baby's stomach, you call it blowing raspberries. When you the, go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love that. That's, yeah. that's what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Huh? But you're talking about a vagina doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's propelling through the water. Oh, now, now the okay, person's in the water. So okay. Now they're, now they're a boat. I'm a motorboat. That's why I said, oh, I'm a motorboat. Um, so the, the I, lingerie. Des, you do know you what? have the desire? Why did we engage in this nonsense? <laughs> this is your guy's own fault. It's your fault, Des. It's mine. It's mine. You I will take the blame. You're right. And then you I did. You're right. Him. You're right. I just wanted to know why he is the way he is. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever know. I, I don't think, even I think know. the greatest minds in science, they may have it figured out and then he's going to say something like, And they'll be like, nope. We don't got it. No you know no, no that's what he said he has no right idea now. i don't yeah. i don't fucking know man no. um how do you personally feel about lingerie i'm just i'm just upset right now <laughs> that is, i can't focus it's okay it's okay, it's okay. um take a deep breath personally i think first of all i do not think that it's something that died in the 1950s i don't think so either. <laughs> do i think that it's as common now no i do, think it's because what? do you just want the girl to show up in a trench coat and lingerie is that what you're thinking of my Ew. girlfriend in high school wanted to do that. Wanted to? Yeah, but then I broke up with her. <laughs> <laughs> I ended it after that. This is not the 1950s, bitch. <laughs> Put on a shirt. <laughs> He's like, it's 2000 and whatever. It's not 1950s. That would be, that would be pretty cool, though. The whole trench coat thing. Like, but see, that's the thing. Like, that kind of stuff, like, it's Men not, don't appreciate it anymore. it's not common. That's what I'm saying. We don't appreciate it. So why would the women do it? And Men if they do do it, a woman it, taking a cab in the rain, butt ass naked in a trench coat. Oh, I can definitely appreciate just, that. Just to like come to your door and I like, would eat open her at the up. door before the door is even. <laughs> I swear to God. I got uncomfortable. <laughs> you, you looked me in the eye. <laughs> yeah. Now you know how I feel. How does it feel? 
out. <laughs> he, he was like, he was like, I'd eat her at the door. <laughs> you'd eat her at the door. That's at the door. That's you'd eat her pussy at the door. At the door. If she took the cab all the way, and yeah, why did you take a cab in two thousand twenty? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't I'm matter. About back in the day, it doesn't yeah. matter. I don't care. It could be. 2055. Still exists. No one cares about cabs. Man, Ubers are cabs at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, fuck out of no, here. No, I'm talking about a yellow taxi. No New one York cares City. about oh them yellow. Oh my god, that's it's even raining. sexier. And the cab even drive away yet. Yeah. And then she just, I open the door like, what are you doing here? And she's just like, fuck. I drop on my knees. You have a saxophone playing in the background like, Oh my god! So yeah, I hope the sax doesn't sound like that. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> There'll be a guy in the background just like people. Is that The Simpsons? I don't <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that The Simpsons? No, that's... Ba, da, da, da. That's what he just did. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I, I see what you were thinking. <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> she's, she's, when she comes out of the Lisa taxi, Simpson is quaking right now. This is a guy in the background just like doing this. His homeless yeah, guy. No. Yeah, like, that would be you. See, the problem is like... <laughs> creepy homeless man who plays I, the sax. <laughs> all right, all right. I relax. can appreciate the effort and the work put into it, but I can't appreciate the clothing itself. That's my problem. Like I understand. Well, you're a step ahead of Hugh. This cost you a hundred uh-huh. and whatever That's dollars. Like you it. think this whole thing is like extinct? Oh, it is. It is, but he likes it. He would like it, but yeah. it's extinct. Yeah, it's extinct. I think. It's I definitely extinct. don't think it's as common. I do think that. I think that women have more appreciation for it than men. Hundred percent. But because. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of women do wear certain things for themselves. I mean, I know personally, I could be going out with some girlfriends. It's like you put on like a nice bra and a nice pair of panties, like just because, because like yeah, it's not yeah. even like, oh, I'm outfit, going out to meet yeah. a guy. No, like you just want to feel, wanna feel good. Yeah. So like wearing things that like, you know, like Des, you're good. a shoe guy. Like when you want to feel nice, you put on like one of your like nice <sighs> pairs of shoes. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I, just, yeah. I just shave my head and my balls. Oh boy. And I feel nice. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's how I feel fresh. Oh, boy. Right. Okay, sure. But like everyone has a thing. <laughs> that was a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel fresh. <laughs> What's your fresh? <laughs> Near. <laughs> so I definitely don't think that it's um you know uncommon for women to still care about that these days but I think it's like why am I going to put in this effort yeah, exactly. if he wants to A, rip it off, B, doesn't care, or C, it's like it's going to be on for a minute and then he's going to take it off and throw it on the floor. Yeah. You know, so I think I definitely think it's like not as um, common, but I do think women do it for themselves. I dated for a, sure. I dated a girl who like she put on she put on lingerie one day and like mm. came into the room and I'm like, where'd you get that from? And she's like, oh, Victoria's Secret. I bought it a couple of years ago. I only wore it once, mm. and like she wore it for her ex, and he was just kind of like whatever. And I I didn't like that. I didn't like that somebody else saw you in this. So like I also can't care about it either because like. I don't know. I feel weird, mm. but I'm also not a lingerie person. You feel person. weird that somebody else's eyes had seen it first. Yeah. Okay, but what about all your porn what about videos? Her? What about them? You think you're the first one to see them all? No, no, but that's fine. I don't know them personally, right? So if you're wearing something personal for me, and you're like, "What do you think?" Okay, but what if it was just a plain black bra? Like, if it was just like, a plain black bra, that's fine. But it was like lingerie, lingerie, like a whole set. So you're okay with someone else seeing like her regular bras, yeah, but not the lingerie? Yeah, just everybody bra. sees. Though, everybody sees those. When you bend over, we all see it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we see that thong line. We're just acting like we, we don't see, see that it. whale line. tail. <laughs> what? Uh, um, he means nah. whale tail when when the straps show and like it makes like the. the oh, thing. that's what I meant by thong line. Yeah. Oh, that's awkward. Remember when that used to be like the trend? Yeah. What? We were too young to like do it. Uh, like to pull up your um your thong or your g string. That's that was the straps. That's really that like. was the sexualness <laughs> in music videos back then. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. And those are R&B. Okay. Yeah. Like, we weren't the age where, like, well, I, we shouldn't have been. <laughs> like, girls in your class were doing it. That's but it was weird. like, if we were older, yeah, like, we would have been in that generation. Why is that thong yeah. a little bit brown? Oh, my God. You're not seeing the part that's in the crack of their ass. It's That's the, the confusing part. Uh, Joe, so just, the, just, just. Maybe it was just, just a brown thong. <laughs> it's not. They make brown ones. <laughs> not this one. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> squid. So trying to be nasty? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, for a second, I was like, yeah. who are you talking to? And then. Uh, yeah, so Squidward. <laughs> I forgot this was a, a, a listener <laughs> <I'm> question. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like, a peanut on that thong? 
<laughs> you just ruined my day. <laughs> um, squid. So if if you Don't appreciate lingerie, y'all stay disrespecting um, these people. We His name is them. Squidward. What's wrong with Squidward? Burr, 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 burr. That's nothing wrong with that. For any people who choose to write in and want to re- remain anonymous, I suggest that maybe you come you up with your own you name. You guys give us a name to call you because these boys are gonna. We're still gonna you. make something out of that name. Look where we got over Jizz. I mean Gisette. You know her name. But didn't you guys? Uh, the 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 girl in that story <clears throat> didn't have a name. You guys gave her a name. It was like something. Sarah. No. no. She, there was saying? another girl and I want to say you guys said like Mildred or something yeah. like, she sounds like Margaret, a miserable Margaret, bitch Margaret, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like you guys say, you're like yeah we're gonna call her Margaret because she sounds like <laughs> a miserable <laughs> bitch ah, that's a good one to you that's a great name no but like <laughs> that's what I'm saying if, if you guys don't want He's, to be roasted <laughs> then you heard lingerie guy yeah Squidward Squidward <laughs> yeah that's so weird Squidward from you guys heard it wasn't a girl you are Squidward <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it does. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, if you are, if you can appreciate lingerie, I'm sure, you know, whichever girl you're with can appreciate or would like you really, truly appreciating the effort that they're putting in and, you know, how much it costs, first off, because that shit ain't cheap. <laughs> Let me like do. minimum $100. <laughs> For a nice, proper set that you can wear over Sex. and over. Yeah. What? You think they're just going to buy underwear? No, I thought it would just be underwear and a bra. Oh, that's what it's called. That's a set. I don't know these things. Or you can have like the one piece with yeah, the garter yeah. belt and like the, 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 the thing that goes around the thigh. Like it looks, uh-huh. yeah, like it looks Let's like. go to the dollar and then, store and, then you and have like, like a belt. Belt. See, no. You know, belt, he said. <laughs> spice up the No, belt. no, no. You know like those, um, no, you know at the Dollarama, you know We're like those lacy, you know those lacy looking, um, uh. Those paper things, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. No. Can, don't look at me. I don't you know. know what I'm talking, talking about. about. Yeah, fuck, you know, it's those paper things that look like kind of like lilies, but they have like holes cut in them. Ah, uh, shit. You know what I'm talking about? No. God damn it! We don't study the dollar store uh, like that. <laughs> you was gonna go tell her, you know, you know those things that you put your flowers in, uh, in the garden, the like metal piece that you put around <laughs> the plant so the plant grows. Nah, properly. this is doing laundry on a budget. Tell her to put that on her legs. Oh, or you know what you could do? Go, go. But fuck. Uh, go to the dollar store again. Oh, what is with this? Thing? <laughs> get, get like someone's very like, cheap. <laughs> get, go to the, go like get like a lacy drape, cut it, cut it like a thin strip, and then tie it. To but your you leg. still wouldn't appreciate the effort. Of course, that... you went to the dollar store, bought a drape, cut it, and tied on your leg. Come on, that's how you save money, buddy. My question is, okay, if they had like a lingerie for like men. Would you guys do that? Like, if it was like a pair of like boxers or like a one of those, what do you call like it? Like a hole in the front? No, um, that's called a cock sock. That's what they use um, in I'm, movies when they strippers and stuff. Or or that. But <clears throat> I like, guess that's our laundry. In movies, they they oh, wear when something. Sex scene? Yeah, so oh. that their butt is out, but their yeah. dick and balls are covered. If there's laundry for guy, yeah, I guess. Like, so. would you guys? Uh, if if it was like fancy boxers or fancy briefs, I or wouldn't because I don't care about those things. Like I said, but if my girlfriend was like, "Babe, like I bought this for you. Like, can you wear it like on this kind of day?" Or day <laughs> those boxers, I got she's you. Like, she's like, "Des, wear that, wear that speedo. I like." <laughs> yeah, no problem. You know, I'll put yeah. it on. I'll go in the shower, come back out, put it on. Hey, baby. Or like a male G string, or like a yeah. Once in a while, whatever. But thing. it's not a thing for me. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Would you? Hugh, I can see you in it. I guess. I see you as a I can stripper, see, so I see you. I can it. see Hugh in it, but like not taking himself seriously. No. Like not actually trying to be sexy. He'd yeah. be out and like. It's and like, she would want him to want to be sexy. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I just saw the he helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you like that? <laughs> this you is like what you that? want, baby. I'm We're about to take off. Woo! Stop helicoptering <laughs> right now. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> up, up and away! I'm about to crash into the Alps. <laughs> oh my! And that when cooch I, is the Alps. When I was a child, what helicopter meant to me was when you took a skipping, skipping rope. rope and helicopter, you went in helicopter, the, nah. please and then calm you went down. down nah. And everyone Only had to jump over. You just keep it down because it's your dick that's the helicopter. Well, your, your dick should be is on the, the ground. It should be in the middle. Sweet baby Jesus, you. What? He <laughs> said your. Dick is the helicopter. <laughs> First of all, your dick is the propeller. The You're best. the helicopter. That's why it changed. It said your pee pee is oh. the propeller. So he's called <laughs> fly away. Realistically, for that to be, you know, he's put your arm a back little more there, accurate. The no, like the guy would have to be laying on his back, and then his dick would have to be. You know, That's yeah. why I would fly away. Yeah, but you can't do that. I would. I would. Actually, I could do thing. that. That would be talented. That's what you think? I, I I want you to set up a camera somewhere, Hugh. I would like to see you be like. Sexy, like I don't like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, like, I want to see you be like serious, like you're trying yes, to turn a girl no, on. No, That's what I mean. No. 
Like, back it up, back it up. Uh, I want to uh, see you be you sexy. Want that, you want Hugh to set up a camera because you want to see him be sexy. Yeah, I want to see what is he's... It, is this for your private archive as well? No, I just want to see You're going to add it to your Because I think he's so funny and goofy one. all the time. So I want to see, like, when he's, like, trying to have sex with his... Like, I just feel like it would be a comedy show. I think it'd be a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> it's, did you say you're hot? Yeah. yeah. Well, because you'd be like helicoptering all over the place. <laughs> the, away, engines are, the engines are overflowing. Mm, I'm the yeah. exhaust. Engines overheated. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I would like to see that because you're so like <laughs> you seem like you don't take it seriously. He oh, would. If I need to, I will. I guess. Oh, that's good. No, I'm right but I feel like if you put too much thought into it, you're gonna just default to like funny, goofy. Yeah. Which most people would, I feel. Maybe. <laughs> like if you over. Not you. I'm nasty when I'm nasty. When is when is that time? No, but is if, that time? if there was pressure, if someone's like, I want you to be sexy tomorrow at eight o'clock, come over, and I want like sexy. You're not gonna like. I laugh went. Even I went to once? this girl's house. Like I had clothes in a bag, but I went to her house, and like I got by where you went there naked. No, but like I went there with clothes, but then when I got like because to go, I had to go to the backyard to go down to where her room is. So I went around the back. Um, I took off my pants, my shorts. I put my robe on, tied my robe around myself. She opened the door because she did say that. She's like, from you get to the door, I want to see what you got. <laughs> okay. So I had my stuff you in my bag. Done that? I put on a robe. She opened the door. I opened the robe, put her, her washer and dryer right there, put her on the washer dryer and started taking my time to do the nasty. Door didn't even close. I don't care. I don't care. <clears throat> When it's time, when it's sexual and it's time to lock it's in. It's time! It's ripping time. Okay, no, that was aggressive. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I just thought about the ripping friends. Yeah, because you mentioned yeah. it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, when it's time, I can't I believe like... you've actually shown up to someone's... Wait, you were wearing boxers still? <clears throat> no, like I took them off when I got in her backyard. Smart. Oh, so you were butt-ass naked? Just the robe, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you basically did the whole trench coat thing. Yeah. You just didn't, But like... I don't like lingerie, so like the... Right, Like, but it's like... not no well, silk okay. boxer. I don't like... have silk boxers. Was it your old little dusty robe or was it like a nice robe? No, it was like a nice robe. There... That's so... my sexy robe. Yeah. Because I feel like for men, like, that's like one of the things that they tend to default Robes? to. Like a yeah. nice robe. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, look at that. Hugh? Are you okay? <laughs> He's like, pathetic, Des. <laughs> No, I just thought I want a robe. I used to have one. I have <laughs> That's what you, you zoned out thinking about? Yeah, now that cool. you're mentioning it. Yeah, they are convenient. Um, Des, so you are a huge Lil Wayne fan. Huge. Weasley. Oh, boy. <laughs> Weezy F, baby. And the F is for? A lot of things. Phenomenal. Frustrating. <laughs> Flat line. I love Wayne. Um, the other day, uh, him and Nicki Minaj were on like a, a live. Did you see it? Of course. Oh, okay. So she asked Little Wayne what his favorite position is. First of all, he said on top in every position in life, not just a bedroom, mm-hmm. which I love. Which is a great answer. Yeah, I love that answer. Um, but then, you know, for sex, he did say he prefers to be on top, aka missionary. Um, and he said that he doesn't like when he's humping a woman and she's humping back Mm -hmm. because because quote he wants the woman to be able to lay back and look up at him and see the power that she has over him in that moment so to feel powerful Mm -hmm. and i was listening to it i was like that's nice Mm -hmm. like that i I like that reasoning because like he's on top so it could easily be like i want to feel powerful over her or like Mm -hmm. i want her to look up and be like oh like yes daddy (laughs) yeah when it when it comes to weighing and sex like he's very like it's about the women. Like, it's not about me yeah. at all. Like, he's like, he's I don't want her like to that. move. Yeah, I want her nothing. to lay there and just look up at me and be like, damn, I got this power over him. Yeah, that's why when he came out and was like so openly about eating vagina, everyone was like, oh. and he's like, I don't care. Like, it makes her feel good. I would do it for however long she wants. Like, What's oh, a little Wayne lyric about eating vagina? Um, There's a whole song called Pussy Monster. Is there? Yeah. Just give us a lyric. <clears throat> um, it starts with... Uh, girl, you cold. Girl, you cool. You heard of um, hot pepper, but girl, you stew. Girl, you okay, hot not the whole like song. a bowl of hot stew. And I just, I went, uh, sorry. Just, and he puts one. his tongue in her bum bum, and he just flicks it, and he goes la 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 la. <laughs> I swear to God, that's how the song goes. Wait, in her butthole? 
Yeah, like he eats her both holes. Oh. He's like, yeah. hey, girl, come here, let me eat that pussy. And when there's no more you in the, when like I was in high school, when I was in like grade nine. Then, or at least was, not a thing that's what I'm saying. About. When Lil Wayne so came out with that, he didn't care. Mm, interesting. Eating the cheeks of boys, man. I remove my spoon and drink your juice. <laughs> that's what he says. <laughs> I was in grade nine, like, ew, he's so nasty. But you Loki loved it. And then when I started eating vagina, I was like, (laughs) I know what to do. Remove my spoon and drink your juice. (laughs) I'm so funny. Oh, the spoon is a dick. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. (sighs) Fuck me. Jesus, Joe. (laughs) What's the spoon? Should have used the fork. Where's the dumplings in the soup? <laughs> Did he wash his hands? Oh, you're thinking soup? I was thinking cereal. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> soup? Cereal? There's a lot of things in soup. That's <laughs> if someone. I would rather my pussy smell like cereal than soup. Oh. A soupy puss is not a healthy healthy one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd rather it smell like fruit Chicken loops and lucky soup. charms. <laughs> yeah, I don't want a salmonella pussy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you still sound disappointed in the spoon thing. I don't give a fuck. Eugene said a lot of stupid shit just now. <laughs> um, yeah, but okay. So Russia has Russia. blocked access to Pornhub now, and, oh, and they told their people to meet someone in real life. <laughs> that's that's all they said. Oh my god! <laughs> they just blocked it. Like, yeah, meet someone in real life. I'm not mad. Oh my I'm god. like, I knew you wouldn't be. I'm like, that's I'm a very mad. Eugene. I I feel like he could be like, okay, go with outside, that. you fucking bastard. Whereas I feel like if you were a Russian man, you would probably you know what? <laughs> uh, trigger warning. I, you yeah. would probably throw yourself. Off the Empire State. Well, no, one hundred percent. That's not in Russia, but you I'll know. figure it out. <laughs> I'll throw myself um, off the Kremlin. See, with that, the only problem I have, right, is I feel like I'm so like okay. When I was in high school, I feel like I was a lot more nastier and a lot more like freaky side always then coming now? up than now. Yeah. Oh God, I so, couldn't imagine. I, I talk about it freely now, but before it was like you're seeing it, like, huh, come here. Oh, you're like, yeah. more of a down low freak. You yeah. You talk about it as much? So now, to me, it's like, if Canada were to, like, block porn sites and stuff like that, I, 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 I don't know what I would do. Like, I feel like. First of all, you already have the whole archive saved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's not <laughs> a lot. Download it. On your phone, man. I, I do. I have a and it's crazy because I, I was like. I seen like a clip of a video and I'm like, what? What is this? And as soon as it starts, like I'm like, I know exactly what it is. And I haven't seen it in like four years. It was just in my archives. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I memorize. I memorize the video so I don't have to watch it again oh, that's smart. unless I want to. But you said you don't often use your memory. No, no, I don't have to watch it again. I mean, like if I go to a video, oh, you know how they have oh. different thumbnails. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. but. Me and my masturbation issues, I feel like it tones down my pervertedness in real life. Like, if I see a girl walk by, like, with a fat ass, I'm like, whoo, whoo, ow! I'm just like, oh, whatever. Like, it's, you know, just somebody Sorry. walking by. Yeah. And then when I go home in my room and I'm like, type in fat asses. <laughs> Watch some porn. Ah, I beat my things. Yeah. But I feel like it's t- things. Yeah. Plural. Yeah, because you're just, I'm just gonna, like, yeah, grab the like, balls and tug a little bit. Uh, it's just sauce from the whole Yeah. Shoot up. So, like, I don't know how to deal with this. So I know, like, every night I can go home and handle my own situation. And tone it down in person, but and if there was no porn, I, I don't know. I think that certain men, not just you, just like certain men, need to learn better mm. self control. Yeah, by going home and beating my. Dick. And learn how to like resist. No, the fact that like if you weren't masturbating, you'd have like a influx of like or like take it do for once i'm gonna agree with like a hue method and like go work out go for a hike go for a run do something yeah i i get i know what you're talking about when you get like this because like if i don't jerk off for like three days i want to kill stuff <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens to me Jesus. i want to like three days and you want to kill i want to murder i want to murder why do you say that and look me in the eye <laughs> you guys stay saying fucked up shit no like for right me, at like, me no like for yeah for me i i i because it's like it's like you have all this energy and yeah. this hormones. Like, like I don't want to run. I I want to run. No, for me even running is not enough. That's why like I'm finally happy that I think kickboxing gyms are finally open now. Yeah. But like for me this week. Oh thank God. For me that's like once that once I start doing that because it depends how how they do it. You're gonna have to book limited capacity. Like it's limited capacity. You're gonna have to book a spot with all the gyms that are reopening. Yeah. yeah. Every single one. <laughs> I mean, at least they're open, right? So. Yeah, yeah. But, like, for me, that's, like, the best time to do 
no fap because that's where all my energy gets out from just kicking stuff. So you're doing a no fap August? If I, I have to check out the gyms first. To see the ones in my area. Yeah, for me, like... It, is this, I, you have all this energy, you don't know what to do with it. That's what, that's pretty much... Even when I is. went to the gym, I remember I'd be so tired and, like, my arm would hurt. Mm. And I'm just like, I need to pump. <laughs> <laughs> and not my arms, my dick. <laughs> I, feel no, like I don't like it, though. You don't like... No, I don't like the government controlling the internet. I understand why they're doing it. They're their hearts in the right spot, but like, All right, I don't good. like them controlling. Yeah, there's like guys, stop jerking off and go, 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 fuck somebody. But like, true. I'm sure in the long run it'll like help like male and female interactions. Mm-hmm. You know. But like, people have ways of finding porn, and just like you can just have a a uh uh the chat that was like VPN things, whatever. Well, it's not even that. Well, no, I'm sure there's ways around that because, like, China, they don't VPN or not, like, they can't get around it. Yeah. So, uh, I'm sure there's uh, ways. Russian. But my question, or like the, the thing that like ran through my head was okay, like, they are blocking Pornhub, but is it just Pornhub or is it all porn sites? Because if that's the case, then like, there's still plenty of other sites. I imagine they'll probably probably do all porn sites. Right, that's what I was thinking. Like, maybe it's just because, like, Pornhub's the biggest. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what the article said, but I couldn't find anything more about other sites. It probably just said Pornhub because it was Pornhub. More, that's what I was thinking. So it was for clicks. But I imagine... Because, yeah. like, that doesn't make sense. Only yeah, Pornhub. come on. There's, yeah, like, the a trillion sites. Yeah. <laughs> they they're probably bon- banned um, porn. Yeah, that's what I was thinking time. about. Oh. So you have a lot of angry Russians. Like, I don't know what to do. Ah. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> The angry Russians. I love Russians. I'm angry Russians with pent up anger. <laughs> it's okay. I love Russians. <laughs> full of shit. I don't know why I said it so fake sounding, but no, I actually do like Russian people. Um, Des, that's me. You had mentioned something, some sort of article. Give us a tea because it sounded um, questionable. Uh, I read that there is actually for <laughs> that's a different article. I just saw what came up on your phone. <laughs> and uh, I hate you. For those of you it who've seen uh, a pig baby floating around the internet, or what what people were saying is, you know, mixed DNA with human and pig. It is fake. Come here. Um, it is a guy who is a he does sculptures, and that's just one of the sculptures he made. And just for shits and gigs, he put it by a pig. Like, he went to somebody's farm and asked if he could take the picture by the pig. And that's what that was, which was very depressing to me. You um, wanted it to be I, real? That would be so cool if it was real. No, because that thing is prob- would probably be, like, suffering. And- no, no, not that kind of cool. I mean, cool as in, like, oh, they're experimenting some shit and some well, shit is going to happen now. It probably wasn't experimenting. It was probably just some freak who, who you know, oh, people do that yeah, to animals. Yeah, disgusting men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just say it. Just say it, these men. Because <laughs> it wasn't a woman that breeded that pig. <laughs> um, no one did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. Nobody did. Um, so Me. there's a student in Philadelphia. Um, she's 20 years old, and she has opened up publicly about what it is like to have uh, two vaginas, two cervixes. Cervixes? Cervix? Cervix. Cervixes. And two uteruses. Did you say cervix? Um, <laughs> I was just trying different things, see what sounded good. Um, so she does get double the period. Damn. So, yeah, so like she'll... And at the same time? It it can change. That's the thing because she has two different... What do we call them? Ovulation cycles? Yeah. So she can get pregnant and still have a period oh, through the other vagina. Sucks. Um, They were saying that if she does get pregnant, like she really won't know. Like, she would have to go to the doctors to tell because you have two vaginas. Like, okay, yeah, you don't know which one's bleeding, when so, it's bleeding, unless you're going right, to look so at it. Right, because most women, like, an indication of, oh, I might be pregnant is, hey, I didn't get my period yeah, this month. But, but she, she will continue it, to, so, yeah. Yeah, she'd need to do. So is it two, 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 two separate, two separate vaginas and stuff? Yeah. Like, side two to side? Two separate vaginas. No. I, 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 I'm guessing top, top to and top. bottom. No, it's not. So... Is it this one hole with two so, canals? So, men, let me educate you guys. Yes. A vagina is actually the inside part. The outside is called the vulva. Yeah. So she has two vaginas, two cervixes, and two uteruses, mm-hmm. but she has one vulva. Okay. She has a TikTok where she said that on the outside, it looks normal. Looks normal. Once you get inside, you're like, whoa, 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 what's all these she, chambers? She, she did, like, a diagram showing, like, how, I guess, um, in, in the utero stage, um, <sighs> your your vagina and the canal that goes up into the cervix, it is naturally split. And yeah. then uh, as you develop, it 
joins, so yeah. it becomes one. But in her case, and I think she said join. one in two thousand, which to me is very common. Unless I yeah, no, her. I've heard, I've heard of this like something like this happening before. Too. Yeah, mm-hmm. same. I've seen. So it hers didn't join, so that's why she has two. But sometimes it doesn't. It could mean you have two vaginas, yeah. but not two uteruses. Like it doesn't yeah. always develop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in her yeah. case, she, she has, has two, two fully functioning. Yeah. That's crazy. She could have twins who are like twins, but not twins. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's kind of cool to me. That's yeah. not cool because now you're gonna push out each vagina. No. I guess technically. Yeah. But that like sucks, though, in complicated situations, it, it would. Yeah. No, no, because um, the article also said that she would most likely um, one have a higher risk of miscarriage, but mm-hmm. also almost always guaranteed premature. And premature births are usually C section because they're yeah, emergencies, yeah, yeah. so okay. she wouldn't have to worry about pushing out yeah, a well, any hole. But I would like to meet her. Yeah, it's like because she didn't even know until she was eighteen and mm-hmm. went. She did have Is irregular Ghana? periods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they went up there and they were like, Whoa, Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd you put your camera, buddy? <laughs> you went in. I, I'm in her too. So cave a, a or cave B? <laughs> <laughs> cave man. Come but on. Cave. Cave minds. <sighs> Anyways. Okay. Yeah. The so sugar it's, walls. It's, it's a lot more common. Yes, than she you got think. them sugar walls. But if she had two separate vulvas, she would mm. obviously have known N- since yeah. birth. But yeah. she didn't know until she was Ew. 18. <laughs> I, I can't. I'm going to replace you both for female co hosts. That's fine. <laughs> That's cool. Can you imagine no. if I found a woman just like each of you? That'd yeah, be a problem. Yeah. That would be like. You'd be like, forget it. I'm Give me a wig. Here. Give me a wig. I can change. <laughs> You in 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 hey, women form would hey, be how are you doing? Oh. so much worse than you in man know, form because I'd be just riding a bunch of dicks. I think you could make a cute woman. No, oh, that's I not what that. I meant. I meant I'm a hot chick. No, the way he is, you're, you're, too, you're too like I know, let me, stocky. Yeah, I know, man. But like I'm a big bitch. I'm thinking about oh, you. Boy. I'd fuck shit up. No, no, no. But I'll like you're just fuck too, people. <laughs> like you know those like women. Like you would like if. You said you were like a gymnast or, or an Olympic weightlifter. Yeah. I believe it because you're you just yeah. as a woman you would be like <laughs> you I'm know. Give me that penis. But like I think if you were <laughs> to shave your oh my god okay <laughs> if you were to he... shave your beard and mustache yeah. and like just like soften it up with like some nice hair I could see it. Yeah. Everything he says you would make an ugly girl. Every, I oh, would not want to be a girl. <laughs> Everything he says <laughs> just just picture. <laughs> What? I don't want to be a girl. <laughs> Fuck that. A woman doing I, that? No. That's what I'm saying. Like that's the part I'm thinking about. Like she him and woman. In the, the worst. In the worst. worst. <laughs> like they would actually chase you with pitchforks. She- <laughs> <laughs> That's when all of the like the old school mentality. That's not how a woman yeah, should yeah, behave. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like <laughs> you would get that. Ah, fuck off! It's 2021, bitch. <laughs> yeah, give me your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'd be a hoe? Of course I'd be a hoe. hundred percent. The thing is, if Des was a... I don't think you would be. I think I would be. I think... I think I'd be looking for love, but I'd be a hoe. Mm, so you'd be like fucking see, yourself up. Yeah, yeah. Like, knowing that knowing I'm doing... No, like I would know it talked about. and be like, honestly, men just won't change, I so whatever. So. <laughs> no, I think that you would maybe go from guy to guy, but like actually looking for love. Like not actually trying to be a hoe, but then when you look at your body count, you're a hoe. Like, Damn. It's the hoe. 74 already? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd be looking for love, but I'd be a hoe. It's always, it's not really. Oh, God. Okay. He was just so nice, though. I didn't know he was using me. For sex. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. I started talking to his brother, and he's actually a sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'd be a whore. You think? I'd be a whore. I'd throw it back. That's what I would do. I don't think you would be like, I don't think you'd have a lot of rhythm. I have a lot of rhythm, man. I think right, but we're not talking about you. We're talking about your Yeah, female, I'd you have know? even more rhythm than I already have You think now. so? I think he would just want to be fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah. no rhythm yeah. fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even mean... Se- he said they could throw it back, so I was thinking, oh. like, twerking. Oh, no. He so was I was like... Throw- what are you thinking about twerking? I'm he's not talking twerking. About That's too dick. much work. I'm talking about throwing it back. He's talking about dick. Oh. Uh, you probably still wouldn't have any rhythm, but... I don't need rhythm. I'm getting fucked. Yeah, he would be a bottom. You think if, if I was a guy, I could get girls? No. I think... <laughs> I think you'd be like No, it's fine, it's fine. My feelings are just (laughs) You guys said it in unison. It was too quick. You didn't even think about it. I I think you'd be a cute guy, but it's you're too shy. You're like You'd be the you'd be the best friend. You'd be the the guy. (laughs) You guys just friend zone me? (laughs) You guys just friend zone me. Oh this is a girl. This is the girl me. Yeah. Yeah, you're my friend. Like you're sweet and everything. 
wow Dex <laughs> just me on the, a date Dex just did like the hand uh, the, the hand on the knee like little cat like mm. oh you're eating. you're sweet you're cute <laughs> how but dare I mean, you we're friends wow I actually feel rejected right now, <laughs> but now welcome to the big man's yeah. world I don't think I'd have a game at all at all but I think that would be like my thing no no <laughs> Stop. See, you see what I'm saying? No, yeah, sorry. no. Sorry, the girl in me is telling me. No, that we want guys my, with experience. All, you're making my vagina you. dry right now. Through. Stop it. Hey, you won't get any ass, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he, that's me as a girl talking yeah, to you no, as a yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you just insulted my femaleness, so now I'm insulting your manness. Yeah. You're a hoe, anyways. They didn't want your. You're, you're ugly, anyways. Fuck you. <laughs> guys do when they're rejected. I didn't want your ugly ass anyway. I, I've never met a guy that do that. I know a couple. <laughs> I've never met guys with that. We're just, I don't know. All the guys are going to be like, okay. Yeah, you, you're not even that sweet. Whatever. <laughs> insulted me like that. Your vagina smells like corn anyways. Being friend zoned is not an insult. The way you guys said it was. <laughs> I was like, would I, uh, would I have game if I was uh, a guy? No. How much more? I've. Oh, Chinese? Oh, geez. I've had that before. We got to run through this because I got something just about to run through me. Uh, you have to poop? I need to fall that. <laughs> so... Let's make this quick. Okay, so I don't know if it happened to you, but when he did that in the mic, my headphones vibrated. No, 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 no. My heart vibrated. That's my, <laughs> that's my booty vibrating right now. Yeah, so everyone listening in like headphones or in their car, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. They're going to look at other cars like, sorry, guys, he <laughs> has to take a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Why do you always have to, like, poop while we're recording? I don't. This might have been the first time with you, Des, but there was a, f- a couple times. I have times. a combo right now. I need to piss in. Oh, okay. oh boy. Okay, go ahead. We got that <laughs> yellow brown combo, bro. Stop. Oh. <laughs> this is, you would be a nasty girl. You wouldn't bathe for nasty. days. Nasty. For days. Nasty. Nah, man. You You'd be shitting yeah. on guys' chest. <laughs> Come by smelling like high tide. Nah, you'd be a nasty woman. Oh, man. You want this stinky puss? <laughs> He ate it anyways. <laughs> That's what you would hear. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're like fucking crackheads because they're the only ones who would go down on that Yo, thing. it's all good. I'm still getting dick. <laughs> I'm getting dick tonight. Yep. R.I.P. Yeah. that pussy. I'm a girl, man. I can get whatever the fuck I want. Oh, shit. Um, you know what I think we should do? Um, on one episode, we should get, we should trade foods. So that something that I like, Hugh tries. Something that Hugh likes, you try. Something that you like, I try. Because oh, I feel like we like different us. things. Like you, really picky eater. Yeah. yeah, but I also have dietary restrictions because yeah, have but allergies. you know we can talk about those stuff. I mean, I'd be open. <clears throat> yeah, because there's a lot of really? stuff you haven't tried. It's not like you have to have a whole plate, like just like Does a piece or something. Does it have to be something. something that you think the other person might like? Not like, oh, I'm going to no. give you something you're going to hate. No, but like, is hard. it supposed to be something that like, you know, the other person doesn't eat much? Like, you don't like sweet. So if it, if it, if yeah, it's like, like you can be good. like Des, like, trust me, like if you try this piece of cake, you know, like right. whatever, like anything. Yeah, I'm down. And then we can talk about it. <laughs> you're like, I'm just trying to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm down. Yeah, I think we can do that for an episode. That'd be nice. I'm a snapping turtle. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're so lucky the people can't see you because that's just yikes. <laughs> um, all right. Well, Hugh has to poop. We got to go. Thank you guys so much for listening. You know, we always ended on Hugh doing something nasty. <laughs> it always ends up with like Hugh just getting so ridiculous that it's like, all right, time all to All right. That's it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey, it really does quite often. Let me live. Um, we, we, we're trying. Um, but yes, again, if you want to write in, it's this room.com slash ask, and please feel free to follow us on our social media at this square room, both on Instagram and Twitter. Um, our website is this square room.com. I feel like I'm missing something. Des, what am I missing? Uh, the fact that Jizz did not message me or request my friend request. Boy, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we will see you next Tuesday. Thank you.